You're watching Cricket World TV. England and Australia meet in a five-match series of one-day internationals beginning on Friday at Lords. England will face a sterner test than they did in beating the West Indies 2-0 recently. Australia have already underlined their credentials. They thrashed Leicestershire by 102 runs in a game at Grace Road, David Warner scoring 74 and Clint Mackay taking four wickets before their game against Ireland was washed out. Then last night they came up against an Essex side which included Alistair Cook and Ravi Bopara and they blew them away too by the margin of 177 runs. Half centuries from Michael Clarke and David Hussey steered them to 313 for nine, and Essex managed just 134 in reply. England beat Australia 3 2 in a similar series two years ago. While England's team hasn't changed massively since then, notwithstanding, of course, the retirements of Andrew Strauss and Kevin Peterson, but Australia's has. An ability to consistently unearth young quick bowlers has kept them among the best in the world. And with Patrick Cummins and Mackay looking in good form already, England will have their work cut out. With Clark and Cook in charge, it's new captains in charge for new eras, but will it be the same old story?